Hey, what's up Guardians? DBL here, and we're back with another exotic engram opening video. That's right, we've got nine exotic chess piece engrams right here that we are going to be opening live on camera for you guys. And now, while I will accept anything, I am hoping for a beautiful roll on those mmm, oh so tasty purifier robes. They're a brand new exotic warlock chess piece that basically add a blinding effect to your fireborn ability. It's an awesome new ability for Sunsingers, and let's hope we get it. Alright, let's dive on in here by heading over to the Crypt Ark himself. We are in the tower with my main man, Master Rahul. And it's time we run these nine engrams and see what glorious bounties await. Alright, let's go. First off, we've got Lucky Raspberry, followed by the Armamentarium, another Lucky Raspberry, <laughs> two Crests of Alpha Lupi, a Void Fang Vestments, alright, Heart of the Praxic Fire, okay, Armamentarium, and finally, another Crest of Alpha Lupi. Are they, is, is he just giving those things away today? Alright, so no brand new exotics on this one. Let's go ahead and check out what some of these rolls are, though. We rolled nine engrams, got a ton of copies here, plenty of Crests of Alpha Lupi, and uh, two armamentariums. Well, let's go ahead and check out these stats. Lucky Raspberry number one has an intellect stat roll of 153. That's not too bad, but it's nowhere near the current max. So guess what? That is becoming an exotic shard. Next up, we've got armamentarium. Oh man, and another mid-range stat roll on this thing, 156. Exotic shard number two. All right, Lucky Raspberry number two. Sheesh, 146? That's another pretty bad roll on a chess piece, so we're going to be sharding that one. And now we got Crest of Alpha Lupi at 148. I just cannot break that 160 mark, can I? And my next Hunter variant of the Crest of Alpha Lupi is at 151. Well, at the very least, I am getting a ton of exotic shards out of this. And now we got the Void Fang Vestments, finally some Warlock Armor. But sadly, it's also rocking a low mid-range roll in the 150s, so I'm probably going to be sharding that. i got to check it against my old Void Fang and see if it's better or not. Next up, we've got the Heart of the Praxic Fire, which, hallelujah, look at that discipline. 168, finally get a decent roll on this, but the one I've got is unfortunately already sitting at 170, so we're going to go ahead and shard that one too, but at least we got a decent roll. Next up, we've got another Armamentarium with a roll of 162 Discipline. That's pretty good. And finally, our final Crest of Alpha Lupi. Oh man, look at the roll on that one. We finally got a top piece of gear here, 177 Strength. That's pretty good. All right, out of all nine of those engrams, only the last three or four or so were actually decent. And as you can see here, I have used all of my motes up. I went from like 400 motes today down to about 25. But surprise, surprise, we're not quitting yet. I've actually got one more engram to decrypt, but this time, we're gonna hit up a different scene for it. Rahul's not paying out today. All right, so here we are in the Vestian Outpost. You know, that, you know what my mistake was today? I went to Rahul thinking Rahul's gonna have my back. Give me something decent. No, 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 it's all about Master Ives right here in the Vestian Outpost in the Reef. I should have came to this guy in the first place. Master Ives has been a confirmed homie over the past couple of weeks, so hey man, what's up big guy? I've got something for you. Can you give me something good for it? So here we go, we've got one exotic engram left, we're sitting at Master Ives. What are we gonna get? What you gonna give me, big guy? Let's turn this bad boy in and oh, another crest of Alpha Lupi, this time again for my Titan. And when we look to see if it at least has a decent roll, mm, no way, that is rocking 130 intellect. That is lowest of the low right there. Definitely sharding that one to add to my uh, beautiful exotic shard collection. Oh man, kind of a disappointing exotic engram opening video here. I mean, well, we got a couple of good things, better rolls on stuff we already had. But hold on, I can't let it go out like that. You guys paid to see a show. So we're going to skip a little bit forward here. I did eventually wind up getting the purifier robes. I had to run onto my alt characters, pull all of my motes and materials from them. I wound up having enough for exactly three more engrams, and the very last one became the purifier robes. That's right, it cost me near 500 motes of light, but I finally got these things. Now let's take a quick look at them before we end this video. I think these robes are absolutely gorgeous, and look at that stat roll. 91 discipline, 96 strength. That is absolutely titanic. That is a maximum combined stat roll of 187, which is <laughs> way higher than anything else I think I've gotten thus far. Alright, the abilities that come on this bad boy are Serpent's Mouth, where damaging an enemy with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, and then Serpent's Tail, where damaging an enemy with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. 
And finally, the signature ability, Burn Brighter. Where activating Radiance from Death, basically using Fireborn, will disorientate nearby enemies. It's basically got the same effect as the Titan Flash Grenade. And oh man, is it glorious. But alright, that's it for this week's Ingram opening video. Had some disappointing runs there in the beginning, but at the very least I got a ton of exotic shards out of it. And after spending a lot of currency, we finally got the Purifier robes. But alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you rolled anything good armor-wise this week. But anyways, it's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.